Bye bye. See you later, truck. <laughs> no, not really sad. What's going on, guys? It's Decalation, and today is a interesting day. This is going to take over. This video is going to take place over a few days, but my beautiful 2021 GMC Sierra needs to be cleaned, needs to be detailed, because as much fun as I've had with this truck future of what I want to be able to do this thing can't tow comfortably long distances what I want to tow what I mean by that when I'm towing the hot rod truck or any other vehicle for that matter because that's the lightest vehicle I own it um, it's working pretty hard to do that so um, it's time to upgrade it a little bit some of you people are probably uh, wondering what I'm getting next. I gotta go back to my Fords. So I'm getting an F250, uh, the an 18.67 Power Stroke F250. It's getting delivered, hopefully, for you guys, just in a few minutes, but for me, in a few days. So I need to clean this so I can get it done. And um, I I went through room for the whole deal and I'll do a complete separate video on what my review of the whole process has been um, we'll leave that to other video but I gotta clean this baby up so just kind of gave you guys a little thing I've been moving so that's why this video this is haven't done a lot of shop videos just this past week weekend we've been moving um so yeah i gotta get this baby like as you can see it is kind of a mess so time to clean up and i'll catch you guys in uh probably like an hour for me welcome back guys so i finished cleaning the truck this was a couple weeks ago still waiting to get it but the delivery should be here in just less than an hour. So, you guys left you off when, right when I was cleaning this beautiful truck. But now it is time to say goodbye to my 2021 GMC Sierra. I know. It was a good truck. I just need something that can have a little bit more capabilities. But yeah, I'm just kind of giving you guys a last look at my workhorse. See, I use it even after I cleaned it, but still mostly clean. Don't feel bad. Should deliver my truck sooner. Sorry, Broom. <laughs> um, but yeah, we will. Uh, I'll catch back with you guys when my new truck arrives, and then I'm gonna do a separate video about my experience with purchasing a truck on Vroom. Welcome back people. So truck's sitting there and I've got it's kind of hard to see but there is a Vroom truck coming in delivering my truck. Yeah coming around that tree looks good yeah so i'm gonna go talk to the driver real quick and we'll see how this needs to go welcome back people the truck is going on the trailer it's going bye bye but let's go take a look at my new truck so this is my 2018 f-250 with a 6.7 power stroke because I love diesels now. <laughs> but yeah. So it's just an XLT, but you know, classy its interior. 
but we know we like to do modifications on this channel so I couldn't get the top of the line because I'm just gonna change it anyways but it is one of my favorite Ford colors uh, those of you that have known me for a while have been looking at the channel magnetic metal is one of my favorite Ford colors it just looks phenomenal that's the color to show is I also had a 16 GT Mustang that was the same color I, it, it, it's hard to beat I don't even know if it reflects but oh my goodness look at that now this is a truck it has its blemishes and everything like that but we'll address those accordingly and my mindset with trucks is they're supposed to get beat up anyways but man so let's take a look ah. so yeah cloth interior very stock no flow through center console pretty much basic interior a little four inch screen and same back here this part's kind of cool so, so this pops up I imagine it locks into place if I can get it to class huh. I'll, I'll figure that out later but yeah it, it pops up and you can store stuff in there oh there we go and you can store stuff in here that's pretty cool actually very functional and yeah just place it basic plane not too much to show on the inside anyone that knows me knows I absolutely hate drop-in bed liners they're the absolute worst if you look under there they trap moisture so they cause things to rust. This is aluminum body, so it's not really gonna rust, but it scratches the ever living fuck out of under the, under the cover. It's fucking stupid. I don't know why they sell them. So probably one of the first things I'm doing is pulling this crap out and we're doing a spray in bed liner. Uh, but yes, other than that, I haven't even really driven it yet, so we will do kind of like a, an initial drive together to kind of get my impressions on the truck. Other than that, it looks good. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy. And I'm surprised I was able to find magnetic metal <laughs> in a truck too, because I think, yeah, the last three Ford vehicles, nope, 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 not the Raptor, Raptor was blue. But besides the Raptor, all the other Ford vehicles I bought were this color in the last like five, ten years. But yeah, all right. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna stop right now. I'm gonna sit and start my new truck <laughs> and I'll get back with you guys uh, when it's time to go do the test drive. Welcome back, people. What's going on, peeps? <laughs> Brian's gonna go for the test drive as well. As we, get, we gotta see how this new truck does. She puts it in gear. When I put it in drive. <laughs> yeah, that drive helps. But just to give you guys a little tidbit, I got the truck with 48,000 miles on it. And I'm going to do a separate video totally on the review of the room. I know I said that a couple times in this video, but one thing I can say. This is by far the cheapest and lowest mile F-250 with the diesel of the new body styles, the 17 and ups. So, kind of hard to argue that one. But, runs fine. No weird noises, creaks, or squeaks. Feels like a Super Duty. <laughs> But, yeah, I think that's going to probably wrap it up. I don't have much more to say. 
but thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys like the new toe pick for the uh, channel have a good one guys peace bye bye see you later truck <laughs> no nah, not really sad